you can uh, start eh? kwa jina unaanza na jina sawa kwa jina langu naitwa Charles Mimi ni client wa the Wine Foundation. Sasa kwa sahi na pongezi wa mambo ya wa watu wa HIV Foundation, sasa wamesaidia sisi. Sisi tulikuwa tunahangaika hapa tulikuja hapa ndiwa kwa Matibu. Unaona unasapata hata mama mwenye yako na mimba na akikuja hapa kwa Matibu anapata watu wamejaa. Sasa anaanza kuzunguka huko nyuma. Sasa hata kiitwa jina yake, sasa ngine yako nyuma. Apati mali ya kukaa vizuri. Sasa tunapongeza hao watu wa Nyacha Foundation juu. Sasa wakijenga hiyo nyumba, si tunaona tumekaa tutakaa vizuri na tutakaa karibu na kutibiwa. Tell us how this facility will help the peer the different the challenges mkuu alafu kama kuna zingine mmejenga jenga within the nani the county and within the within the county and your your anticipation. Kidogo. Waziri, nitakuomba ukuja hapo. Pande hiyo eh? Hapo. Your design is above our head. Mm. We are trying to. So, three. You, 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 so, you can start. Name? Uh, my name is Dr. Samuel Kinyinjui, the country director, AIDS Health Care Foundation in Kenya. Today we are here in Thiwa, sub county hospital. Grateful to partner with the county government of, of Homabi in improving quality of care provided to the citizenry in this county. Uh, our mission here today is expanding the CCC clinic, which has been having only four rooms, uh, taking care of more than uh, uh, 2,600 clients, and therefore it has been having a lot of congestion, making it difficult to offer uh, quality services, especially to deal with the issue of uh, privacy during uh, health care services. So we are planning to extend the, to add four additional rooms, provide a waiting area and renovate the existing uh, facilities to improve the quality of care. This will serve not only the clients, but also the staff who work here. As AHF, we have partnered with the county government of Homabe for several years now, and we've been supporting them, not only expand uh, spaces where people work, for example, the CCC in, uh, in uh, Kabondo, the CCC in Rachuonyu, and uh, we're also extending to plan to build uh, testing uh, uh, sites in, in Nyangela. In this, uh, sub count, in this county, we have uh, approximately 15 members of staff, including two doctors, uh, several clinical officers, seven nurses, and a data person, we call HRIOs, among others. We have also provided one vehicle and a driver to facilitate the transportation. We really appreciate the good work we've been having, partnering with the county government and other implementing partners uh, in this facility. We look forward to extending our services going forward. Uh, in the coming year, we plan to extend our services to two uh, additional facilities, in addition to the eight facilities that we are currently uh, supporting. Thank you very much. Thank you. There is a story that I'm working on, your first bag. Actually, your first bag is World AIDS Day. So, no, you have to do it once, that's why I can't do it. You do it once, that's why I can't do it. So, you do it once, that's why I can't do it. Yes, my, my name is Tiffy Nomondo Bunga, the county HIV AIDS control coordinator. So we are happy that today we are doing a groundbreaking ceremony for an expansion of comprehensive care center on the Wasab County Hospital. As you are aware, Homer Bay County is one of the leading counties in HIV prevalence at 15.2%, actually is the leading, uh, followed by uh, Siaya, then uh, uh, Migori, and Kisumu. So our coming year will be very key. Homer Bay County has a population of people living with HIV around 130,000 who are on care and treatment. And the Wasab County, where we are today as a population of 18,200 people living with HIV. Out of that, this sub-county hospital has a population of 2,600 uh, people living with HIV that are seeking care in this compound. So we are happy that this expansion will uh, participate more in providing conducive environment 
and also it will enhance comprehensive care because currently we are integrating services. We are also doing a screening of non-communicable diseases. So it will be very key for us as a county and also as a facility of the Wasab County Hospital where HF has supported in renovation and construction or an extension of this care, comprehensive care center. So we are happy that we have launched this uh, building today with our Waziri and C Chief Officer Health and it's going to contribute so much in the response to HIV uh, epidemic. As we even plan uh, to uh, participate in the World AIDS Day that is coming up, uh, this is one of the pre-World pre AIDS Day activities that we are going to do and it's going to uh, contribute into the quality of care and also spacious environment for people seeking care in this facility. We have yes. been having high infection rate, new infection rate among teenagers. What do you think that uh, should be done in order to re reduce? And what do you think that is, in, is the cause to high infection rate, new infections among so, teenagers? So our response in uh, new HIV infection has been biomedical, uh, behavioral and structural. So we encourage a lot of biomedical intervention because we have prevention strategy for adolescents and young people. And they were is leading with teenage pregnancy and a new HIV infection among this population. But there's a lot of collaboration on prevention of HIV amongst this young population because we are doing a lot of uh, prevention, uh, promotion, behavioral change. And also we have structural intervention where we have dreams project where young girls are put together and are capacity built to take care of their, of their self, where we do what we call self-care, they are trained on life skills and also economic empowerment. 